going to always err on the side of the ultra conservatives, ultra covered up. Because once you get the job, guys, it's all about the culture of the organization. If you're going into an organization that's a little bit more laid back, you can get away with khakis and a polo and maybe a sweater. But for that interview, you got to dress for the job you want, not necessarily the job you have. Perhaps the most important thing I am taking away from today is the energy, the enthusiasm of the students. They are engaged, they are excited to learn, they ask amazing questions, and they really want to advance themselves personally and professionally. And I think those are two things that I'm really going to take away from my experience here today. I think sometimes we often hear that this is the lazy generation, this is the generation that doesn't care. That was not what was going on today. These students are empowered, they're excited, and they really want to take their career to that next level. And events like this help that happen. If you make a bad first impression, it takes 21 additional interactions with that person to change that impression. There's so much amazing things that go on inside the classroom, but it's that outside of the classroom experiences where you really are able to bring that textbook material to life. Having events like this where you can network with employers, learn from the best and the brightest in their fields, really help to bring that coursework experience to fruition and it really helps them engage and connect with what they want to do with their life and what they find so important. And I'm here today to tell you that not too long ago I was sitting exactly where you are now and fortunately for me I had an astute mentor who taught me how to utilize a free tool that each of us are given and that's your brain. What I like to do in my presentation, especially for students who have already taken a progressive step forward in furthering their education, is give them the opportunity to see that there are three parts of their brain that come together um, to better their success and to take their education to the next level in their college planning. So what I really like to make them aware of is an area that hasn't been tapped into yet and taking both their cognitive skills that they've learned in school and combining that with the cognitive ability that's innately in installed into them. English is your least favorite class. And why don't you like it? It doesn't click. It, it's, not, it's not interesting, right? So it doesn't motivate you. The point is that when you're in your effective part of your brain and it's actively working, you are motivated. And that's great because then you have everything that you need to succeed there. My company works nationally with students, high school juniors and seniors, who are so unprepared for the journey uh, that not only college brings, but future job employment after that. And what the academy does a great job of doing is getting them prepared for the real world and stepping outside of that cognitive zone, so to speak, and entering into a real world capacity where people will be seeing them in a new light. Great. But the fact of the matter is, you guys, we all have our comfort zone, and that's where we kind of want to stay. And we all have our people, and that's where we kind of want to stay. And what's really important for you to understand is the more that you can get out and be exposed to different people and be exposed to different circumstances, and you talk about that in your college interviews, you talk about that in your job interviews, you're going to start to separate yourself away from all those negativities that are in the mind of employers. I think what I was most impressed about is how realistic they are going out into the work world about what the expectations are along with what the obstacles are. They seem very well in tune with those areas and I think just that level of knowledge is going to be very powerful as they move themselves forward. We're in a very self-empowered career time and hopefully this information will allow them to achieve their greatest career happiness. See, back in the old days, in my days, it was good enough to be a parrot. Do you have customer service skills? Yes, I do. How about are you happy? Yes, I am. So you could just respond back with a yes. Today's employers want proof, and from the millennials, they want more proof than ever. I do a lot of work within the high school communities locally and across the country and I think what's so important is to give them an opportunity to look at higher ed in a completely different way and what I love about the Academy opportunity is it provides them that thought process. So I'm very appreciative of the work that we're doing here and how important it is in impacting these young lives. Pick up the phone. Don't text. Don't email. Pick up the phone if you are talking to a potential employer, if you're looking for a reference. 
if you, whatever it might be where you're trying to get yourself to the next step, pick up the phone. We want to talk to you. I don't want to get an email from you. I don't want to get a text from you. Talk to me. Because if I can talk to you, it's going to give me a better idea of who you are, what you want to do, where you want to be, and it's going to tell me a little bit about you, in addition to wanting to meet you. Thank you. Always follow up. Any conversation you have, any interview you have, anybody that you've gone to and asked for help, follow it up with a thank you. Email is fine, but I'm a real, real stickler for snail mail. There's something to be said when I get a card in the mail that says thank you for your time, thank you for your help. Whether it be advice, whether it be helping somebody get a job, whatever. There's something to be said for having something to hold in my hand and to put up and say, wow, this person went above, above and beyond. Most definitely I liked the presentation about the millennial groups um, and it was really interesting to see how our students even recognized the difference in their workforce now as employees versus the group of individuals that they will be working with. Thank you for inviting us because it was really um, an informative, um, wonderful presentation for my students to see in a very professional setting and it was great to see all the kids dressed up and I think we would do this every year and every academy should at least participate in one or even think of hosting one similar to this.